Today, State Senator John Udichak announced his Luzerne County District will get $2 million in funding from PennDOT's Transportation Alternative Set Aside Funding Program. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback joins us live in the studio to tell us how that money will be used. Caroline. Well, the PennDOT program provides funding for transportation alternatives like bike paths and hiking trails, as well as infrastructure projects that make a community more accessible without needing a car. State Senator Yudichak said this funding will create even more rails to trails and riverfront trails in our scenic and beautiful northeastern Pennsylvania communities. The city of Pittston is getting $1 million from PennDOT's Transportation Alternatives Set Aside Funding Program to extend and improve the city's riverfront trail. So you said you walk this trail almost mm -hmm. every, day. every day? Sure, I do. Exercise. Good exercise, you know. Don't get old. <laughs> it's expansion of the trail, some amenities on the trail, lighting, um, ADA accessibility at points on the trail. Improvements also include safety features like pedestrian signage. This will provide alternative transportation routes like bike paths and walking pathways to river areas, the Main Street, and local bus stops. The trail will extend to North Main Street neighborhood where the city is already planning a $5 million streetscape project. There's a boat launch there. So this has kind of been part of that long-range plan to extend the trail system. Um, we did the original phase of the trail some years back. And now we're looking to continue up into Duryea and then eventually make that linkage with the Lackawanna County, the Heritage Trail. Lombardo says NEPA has yet to tap into the full potential of its trail systems. Connecting them is a big step forward. He says city leaders realize the importance of having outdoor activities, especially since the pandemic. That has huge implications in terms of tourism, you know, economic, economic viability and connection. Um, I think you'll see a lot of businesses that um, can pop up potentially as it relates to that. Many locals like Joseph Burge already enjoy the existing trail. He says he's excited about the expansion and he hopes the improvements include routine maintenance. The trail is so nice down here, but it's just it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit more, you know. That, that's all, you know. And Hanover Township will also receive $1 million in funding to grade and resurface the railroad alignment of the former Lehigh Valley Railroad between Mountaintop and Laurel Run Borough. Improvements also include drainage, signs, fencing, and gates. Nick, Candace. 